Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Lay Tarot. Hope everybody's having an awesome day. I'm going to be doing a general check-in for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, protect my vibration at the highest. As I channel the message for the Aries Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what message does the universe have for Aries today? That's my bird who's very chirpy today. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have five of wands energy. So Leo energy, releasing conflict, no longer playing games, Aries, releasing strategy, not worrying about someone. Five of cups in the reverse. Scorpio energy, two of wands, Aries energy, queen of pentacles. The queen, she represents Virgo. So releasing heartbreak, releasing a lot of deep emotions that have kept you stuck in making a choice that's impacted your stability in life. But now, Aries, you are releasing this conflict. No longer playing games with this person that was a Pisces, King of Cups. A person that played a lot of emotional games you're releasing this person because you see them clearly and you're now releasing this situation this player mentality moving forward now with an open heart ready to embark upon your journey from your heart after releasing somebody that puts you in conflict there is victory, reward, and truth at this time, Aries. But for some reason, this energy still sticks to you. There's no, there is love. There is a message of love. After releasing deception, but you're stuck. Something is stuck at this time. The chariot feeling stuck in regards to some type of a victory or feeling like you don't see a situation clearly. Feeling out of control. About not moving forward from difficult times. So definitely there is an energy of victory but there is definitely an energy of releasing a lot of hurtful emotions from someone who plays games. Someone that put you in the five of wands energy, right? So someone that was very combative. There is victory in regards to that connection Aries at this time. Okay, I'm going to clarify some of this energy now. I'm going to actually clarify with Oracle. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please clarify this energy for the general collective, Aries collective at this time. What is the general message? Please clarify this spread. Please clarify this spread for Aries. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Look again, that trapped energy. Feeling trapped in something. Feeling trapped in a connection where you know, where you know there's anger. Someone has a lot of anger and hostility towards you. Or someone's trapped in anger, not wanting to be accountable for their part in the situation. No escape from reality. 
right? Surprise in the reverse. From someone that you pop. I don't know. This is an interesting energy. I feel that this is your energy here. Aries, the five of cups, two of wands, queen of pentacles. But I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel this is someone that's connecting to you. Someone that feels trapped in their anger because they're not wanting to take accountability for their part in deception and, and in playing games. Probably someone who's experiencing karma at this time. Okay, I'm going to pull some energy for this connection here. And then I'll come back accordingly. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please clarify the energy of this person that's connecting to Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please give clarification on these oracles that have showed up for the person connecting to Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please clarify this energy. So blocked intuition, something that is not being divinely guided, someone whom is not, a connection that is no longer being um, protected or supported by the universe. Three of Swords energy, so Libra energy. So the high priestess in the reverse, not in communication with a king of pentacles who regrets turning their back on you, regrets turning their back on a stable connection, didn't see how this was going to end up turning out. So are feeling angry because you walked away angry because you're making them accountable they never thought you were going to be able to walk away from them three of wands in the reverse they didn't think you were going to be able to turn your back on them and that pisses them off and they're trapped in their head because they're not able to release you aries for some reason this person still feels very stuck and connected to you but they are so but there's clarification that there is no communication so you're currently not in communication with this person this person sees you as someone that is very um stable and grounded that they turn their back on and now they're they're regretting it because they're it's they're perpetually stuck in this nine of swords energy they never thought that you were going to turn your back on them and they're pissed off and they're pissed off because you're not playing games with them any longer. They're still stuck in their cycle, still attached to you, and you are moving forward, Aries. It's very much the energy that I'm picking up here. So what have we got? We've got King of Pentacles, that's Taurus energy, Three of Wands, that's you in the reverse as well. So yeah, this person, this King of Pentacles, who may have some, uh, are very focused on finance. They feel that being financially uh, well to do or money makes gives you some type of a advantage over people like that's important to them they they're not people that um are driven by their soul they're driven by how things look on the outside so someone that's very um materialistic right and you've turned your back to this person and they cannot believe that you did that after releasing heartbreak from a person that was very selfish who put you, made you feel like an option and you're releasing that feeling, right? This person, but this person stuck to you after being put in a third party situation. This is an energy that comes up for you quite often, Aries. Okay, so that's your general energy. That's the person that's connecting to you at this time. I'm going to ask Spirit what advice they have. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please give the Aries Collective some advice in regards to this situation. If you're a returning subscriber to my channel, I appreciate you so much. 
If you have yet to subscribe, please do so. I would appreciate it. And let me know if this resonates with you guys or like and share, or do your thing, appreciate you. So what is the advice for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to this situation, Spirit? Releasing this Pisces energy who's clinging to you, this King of Cups, someone that was emotionally manipulative, this person that you thought was going to be your wish fulfillment, Aries turned out to be nothing but an a, a empty promise. This person is emotionally stunted. This person is emotionally um, very codependent and clinging to you, but you've released them. So spirit is acknowledging that this person is still attached to you. For some reason, the cycle is still continuing on their regard. I feel to the past energy, there's a lot of anger towards you because you brought up some abandonment issues for this person and this person is now having to deal with their problems. They're actually having to deal with why they are the way that they are. And so that's keeping them stuck to you even though you have released them from some type of a contract. Could be a soul contract. I do feel that, but spirit is acknowledging that the cycle is still playing out. You know what I mean? So this person that you thought was gonna be your wish fulfillment. But spirit is acknowledging that there is no future with this person, but is definitely acknowledging the fact that there is still connection with this person because this person is still cycling and learning lessons in regards to the way that they treated you. And possibly, like I said, the third party energies come up a couple times. This person's dealing with the karma for the way that they, they treated you. So I'm going to get some um, closing from the angel answers in regards to this advice. Spirit, do you have any final messages or advice from the angels here in regards to Aries' situation? Any final advice? Okay, so we had remain positive in the reverse. So I feel like that's an indication that this person is stuck and probably always going to be stuck. I feel that you held on for a long time to this connection, Aries, with, in hopes that this person would choose the right path. But this person chose a totally um, a path opposite from what they were supposed to. This is a person that you had a soul contract with. This is someone that was supposed to have chose to grow, but instead because of their inability to move past their pain and abandonment, abandonment um, are continuing to cycle. So spirit is telling you to release this energy, to continue to see things for what they are because this person is stuck and will probably always be stuck in this lifetime and abundance in the reverse. So there will be no abundance in this connection moving forward. That is your advice. Thank you so much. If you guys got to the end of this message, I appreciate that. Please let me know if it resonates. Take care, Aries. Bye.